Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List in 1993. Um, so yes, here we are uh, once again with another Spielberg review and um, here's the 4K um, which I recently picked up. Yes, a few weeks ago and um, here it is, um, finally of course. Wonderful edition here as well, you know, on the 4K. Um, you know, it's definitely the way to watch this film. Um, you know, the shadows in particular um, and just the overall, you know, the, the textures, um, the actual detail to the film um, is even more enhanced. Um, you know, so it's just even more of an immersive experience. Uh, the sound as well, I would say, is definitely enhanced uh, on this 4K. And um, yeah, it's back with Spielberg, um, of course, my second favorite director. Um, but yeah, him and Kubrick, of course, um, are my two absolute favorite directors of all time. And uh, this one, you know, as, as we all know, it is probably at times his most popular, um, certainly with the critics and um, just, you know, people, of course, so many people have been moved by this film. And uh, of course, it led to many other things, um, you know, it got, Got seven Oscars. Um, it also uh, helped, uh, you know, with the to set up the Show Foundation. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very, um, you know, famous film. Most people have seen this, um, you know. And uh, I saw this for the first time when I was about twelve or thirteen, I think. And um, yeah, I've seen it roughly ten times since, um, or ten times in total actually. Um, and yeah, near enough every year um, since that, you know, I've watched this film. Um, now I'm twenty two, of course. Rewatched it tonight, and um, yes, um, you know, this is. Of course, uh, one of the most popular Spielbergs, uh, if not at times, you know, the most popular, um, most respected um, by, you know, cinephiles and, and stuff. And um, very, very different, you know, certainly at this point, um, because of course now, you know, the 21st century mostly, he does do more, um, mostly more serious films, you know, you could say, um, you know, ones that, you know, more historical films or, you know, stuff instead of, you know, his kind of, um, his kind of blockbusters, you know, fantasy action films, you know, and, and sci-fi. Like E.T., Close Encounters, Jaws, uh, you know, the Indiana Jones films, um, of course. Empire of the Sun was probably his first um, film in this vein, um, but then this is full on kind of, uh, of course, um, one of the most darkest films ever made. Um, you know, this is, of course, um, you know, it's about, um, you know, one of the darkest chapters, um, you know, ever, you know, in the history, you know, of the human race. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's something, of course, um, you know, it's something, yeah, it's best to watch this, you know, when you're, a certain age, of course, um, you know, I, I did, um, I, I learned about this, you know, kind of these events, you know, in history and stuff at school, and then, you know, watching this around 12, 13, you know, it was something that, that is definitely needs to be watched when you're a bit older, um, that age, you know, would be great, you know, perfect kind of age to watch this film, and, um, you know, I, I was recommended, of course, by so many people over the years, and, uh, you know, sat down to watch this, and I just couldn't believe it, you know, it was just something that, you know, it's one thing hearing about this and, and reading about it and stuff, but actually, you know, for this to come to the screen um, in this way, um, now it really um, just blew me away. Wow, you know, and once again, you know, and every time since, um, you know, I've seen this film, um, it has grown on me even more, more and more, you know, it instantly became one of my favourites. Uh, I know some people don't like, um, you know, kind of re-watching this and stuff, but I, I do, because I love to be moved in cinema, and uh, I think this is such a, you know, just a, a vital film, um, you know, this is one of the, for me, the finest films, you know, one of the absolute pinnacles of cinema and um, the one that everyone has to see, you know, this is something as well, you know, that, you know, moves me beyond most films that I've ever seen uh, in particular ways, you know, it's, 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 it's impossible for me to not, you know, cry at this film uh, and in many occasions, not just, um, you know, the final act or, or, you know, moments, you know, where people are getting killed, but just instantly really, um, you know, when you've seen the film and you go back to it again and again, um, actually, Gradually, you know, crying even more, more emotional every time, um, you know, it's something that is so tragic, um, you know, these events, this is, you know, it's, it's hard to believe, um, you know, this actually happened, of course, um, and Spielberg, yes, you know, up until this point, he had never won, um, you know, particular Oscars for directing and stuff, and, uh, you know, he finally, he went ahead and made this, you know, which is, it is completely, completely different, um, other than maybe parts of Empire of the Sun, to any of his, uh, you know, films before this, and, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's hard to, you know, kind of at times, um, you know, see that this is the same director. Uh, but of course, he proved um, that he could make films different, you know, not necessarily better, um, but different to what he had made um, you know, up until this point. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a drama, a war film, um, you know, and of course, the, the classic kind of good uh, versus evil in many ways. Um, although very complex characters, um, and this is such a controversial and kind of, um, you know, dark you know, um, kind of um, subject matter, um, but you know, for me, you know, personally, I think um, this is one of the magnum opuses of cinema, and um, you know, 
I think uh, Spielberg achieved uh, cinematic perfection and uh, a wonderful, wonderful tribute, in my opinion, to all those that, that died. Um, and also, I, I, I see it as, you know, not just that, you know, it's it's at once, you know, kind of um, a, a cautionary kind of, you know, bringing this to the screen, you know, about how horrible, you know, these, these matters were and for this to hopefully, you know, never happen again. Um, it's just such a, you know, you cannot believe it really. Um, this actually happened. Um, you know, it's a, a, a deep, deep tragedy, but then at the same time, um, I see it, you know, especially it comes true in the final act, that it's also um, to celebrate those that, you know, did make it out, and um, of course, um, you know, kind of seeing, you know, you know, it is hopeful as well in places, um, that's what I find in the film, I don't find it, you know, wholly um, dark at all, um, you know, and he brings that to the film, um, and I think, you know, it's kind of documentary-esque at times, um, you know, in the way it's shot, and um, it's just the overall tone and stuff. But it is, you know, a cinematic piece as well, and um, you know, kind of just bringing this, but also bringing hope to it, and um, the celebration of those that made it out, and uh, of course, the story, um, you know, of Oscar Schindler, um, who of course was a member of the Nazi Party, um, supporter, of course, and uh, you know, it starts in 1939, you know, beginnings of um, you know the war and stuff, and um, you see him, you see, you kind of see him, his lavish uh, lifestyle, um, you know, you see he's kind of quite, um, you know, let's say well off, um, and he does care more about, you know, business and making money and, and stuff, um, you know, at the beginning of the film, um, but instantly, once again, always seeing, you know, complexities in this character, um, you know, oh, excuse me, I have a cold, actually, um, so if I sound a bit, you know, different, uh, that's what it is, but yes, um, you know, th this film, um, he portray portrays this character, um, of Oscar Schindler, you know, very, uh, you know, kind of, um, so complex, one of the most complex characters in film, and um, Liam Neeson, of course, a great, great actor, um, always a supporter of, you know, this actor, uh, wonderful, wonderful individual, and um, yes, you know, I think this is by far his finest performance, uh, you know, no question, no doubt, um, and he's great in so many things, but but this is it, you know, one of his um, first roles, really, um, pretty unknown at the time, and um, there was other options, of course, involving, you know, including Kevin Costner, actually, um, you know, considered for the role, and um, even, you know, in terms of directing, um, it was floating about, you know, for years um, before this, even... Scorsese, um, you know, maybe coming close to the projects and stuff, um, but of course, Spielberg, um, you know, eventually decided that he was ready to tell the story, and, um, you know, of course, Ben Kinsley um, as Ishak Stern, um, who, of course, is the accountant, um, you know, for Oscar Schindler in the film, uh, the Jewish accountant, and yes, it's the story, um, you know, the narrative, it shows uh, the Holocaust, um, you know, in great honesty, um, I feel, you know, it's, it, it does not hold back, um, you know, in terms of you know, really compared to any film, most films I've seen, you know, it's very, very graphic. Um, you know, I was, I, I, you know, shaken the first time I saw this and um, every time since as well, you know, and just, you know, you have, you have all these characters and you have this story of the Holocaust, um, you know, it shows a lot of the victims, um, the actual survivors, of course, it follows these characters um, in a very, very unique way. Um, yes, kind of documentary-esque, um, but again, as I say, cinematically as well and, um, Yes, it is good versus evil, um, as I say, and um, this Oscar Schindler, who, who who does eventually, you know, save the lives, um, you know, of these, um, of particular, you know, Jews, and um, you know, by employing them in his factories, um, and, and basically, yeah, you know, buying them and, and kind of um, saving their lives, you know, very very close calls in the film um, for a lot of the characters, um, you know, and the actual individuals, and. Um, yeah, it's a spoilers review, of course. Um, but I think most people have seen the film um, at this point, and um, yes, you know, for me, as I say, it's one of the finest films ever made. Um, rarely has a film moved me to the particular level of this um, in terms of just the emotion, you know, the way it just, you know, brings me to tears, you know, throughout many, many moments of the film, and um, the final act, you know, is right, right close um, to that kind of um, top fifteen, top ten kind of uh, film status quality. Really, um, the whole film. For me, cinematic perfection, and this is one of Spielberg's very, very finest films, um, possibly, you know, his third best film, um, and definitely one of my top five favourites from him, you know, I do, I love this film, um, because, you know, while it is extremely dark, and, um, you know, it's a haunting film, um, of such a disturbing, um, you know, subject matter, but it does, of course, um, is a participation uh, film, and um, you go... You go through the, this uh, this journey with, with this, uh, these portrayals. Um, with the portrayals, of course, you know the actors' the performances. Um, you know are just perfect in every sense. Um, they provide such dignity um, to the roles. You know all the Jews. Um, you know it's something that's handled 
with such um, sincerity and, you know, thought and uh, just, it's just truly, truly human film, um, you know, it shows, um, of course, humanity in the face of evil and um, also the inhumanity, you know, it's just, it's a very, very disturbing film, um, you know, it's something that, as I say, it's hard to believe actually happened, um, but, you know, it just shows this um, and it does, of course, it does have hope in the film, as I've said, and it does kind of, um, you know, it is, it's got its uplifting moments uh, towards the end that, you know, beyond most I've ever seen, you know, not just because, you know, the, the way they make it out, you know, it's just something that portrays hope, you know, in the face of, you know, despair and what you'd think is just completely dark, but it's celebrating, as I say, you know, what I take from it is um, the amount of people, of course, that did, you know, get saved, you know, it's something that, you know, it's it's something to hold on to um, and celebrate, you know, and all these kind of descendants, you know, and that's um, something that's so, so powerful, you know, it's just, in itself, and uh, the way this is executed, um, you know, it's the greatest, um, you know, certainly of, uh, you know, this kind of subject matter. Um, the Pianist, of course, as well, um, it's, just, it's something that, you know, is one of the best, um, you know, kind of about this, but this is the finest for me, by far, um, portrayal, you know, of the Holocaust and everything, and um, it's just one of the very, very most moving films, and um, yes, you know, of course, uh, the first act um, is the, the perfect setup for me, um, you know, getting to know these characters, but as I say, very particular ways, uh, particular ways, kind of, you know, uh, in the way that it's kind of um, very, very um, up close and personal. Um, it's not, it's not the typical kind of um, character introductions and development, um, you know, in terms of the Jews of a lot of uh, films, um, especially Spielberg's. Um, that of course, it mainly focuses um, in that sense cinematically on on the three characters: um, Isaac Stern, uh, Oscar Schindler, and of course, um, Amon Goeth, um, played by. Ray Fiennes, now, wow, you know, that is um, one of the, the greatest performances as well. Um, Ray Fiennes in this film, uh, possibly his best performance um, and character. This is stuff that is just something to behold and uh, how chilling it is, you know, and of course, there was many comments uh, from survivors, you know, that it was very, very, um, you know, close to, you know, it's just so kind of authentic and, um, you know, very, very, so disturbing and, uh, yes, just... It is one of the best performances of all time, one of the best villains, um, no doubt. And of course, um, I think it was the right choice to kind of portray this character of Amon Goeth. You know, not to say that he's not complex uh, in the film, um, and he's not, you know, a, a, a such a compelling, you know, in terms of cinema uh, character um, to kind of watch, but, but kind of, um, he is, of course, um, basically wholly evil, you know, in the way he's portrayed. And I, I, I support that because, you know, it's something that, I don't think every character, you know, in cinema, every villain or, you know, such, um, needs to be, you know, have, have stuff that is, is likeable about them, you know, because this is something, you know, it's a character, it's a person, an individual who was, you know, kind of, uh, you know, you can't really um, gloss over that, you know, and of course, it is kind of good good versus evil, um, you know, in different characters, you know, Liam Neeson, of course, plays plays a bit of both, um, as I said, you know, it's kind of um, a transformation, um, you know, it's a kind of, Tale of Redemption, you could say. Um, the character arc is one of the finest in cinema. Uh, but then you've got Ben Kinsley playing Isaac Stern, who, who's kind of the you know purely um, good character, you could say. And um, you know, so it's got a trio. It's got you know good, evil, and then you know something in between, really. And uh, these are the three main characters for me. You know, are treated you know purely cinematically, you could say. Um, and the rest of the you know, the actual um, you know the Jews and everything. They're, they're more. It's more documentary style. Um, it's very very interesting the way he does this. Combines it, but then of course. It's all as one, you know, this is one experience, um, you know, epic in length and um, it's a journey, um, emotionally draining, um, but then of course, at the end of this, this, um, you know, this darkness, um, you see the light and uh, you take, what I take from this, um, you know, the actual, um, you know, the stuff that did come out of this, you know, the, the stuff that is truly something to hold on to and that is, you know, life, you know, that was saved, um, lives. You know, of all these people, um, you know, so many died, but then you, you've got this as well, um, you know, when you see them at the end. And, of course, that transition, um, you know, from, from uh, the state of the film to the actual survivors, uh, one of the most, you know, overwhelming, um, you know, emotionally uh, moments I've ever seen. You know, it brings me to tears, um, that moment, and um, it is, you know, it's been named by uh, Roger Ebert as well, you know, as one of the greatest moments, um, of course, the lion, you know, of the the survivors um yeah it's just it is one of the most um you know emotional moments i've ever seen and um you know something that this film achieved so much uh, spiritually um it's it's unbelievable um you know this has been 
a couple of hours since I've seen it because I couldn't quite do a review after this. It's just it's a film that leaves you speechless um, more and more every time. You know, the more of course that I watch this, um, it's just uh, you know, it's some work, and because uh, of course the actual subject matter, um, you know, what actually happened is so um, tragic um, and and just unbelievable and despicable. Um, you know, that it's just it is it's so emotional the weight that it carries, and um, you know, it's, it's something that I think. It's treated in every aspect with the fullest of um, sincerity, dignity, and um, you know passion for this. You know, bringing this to the screen um, to kind of um, raise awareness and all this, and just to, as as a piece of cinema, you know, in itself, it is one of the best executed, you know, of all time. Um, the cinematography, of course. Now there was, of course, um, you know, as always, you know, studios and stuff, um, not really wanting to, you know, question the. The black and white, you know, as they always do, um, but I think it's just the perfect way, um, it kind of, because it is, you know, kind of um, going to the documentaries of the time and stuff, um, you know, kind of make it feel more authentic, and um, I think as well because of the dark nature of this, um, you know, it's just so much more effective in black and white than what it would have been in colour, and um, actually the use of shadows and everything, the way he tells the story visually, Spielberg, um, you know, and everyone involved. I think it's just so so effective, you know. This is some of the thirty best, um, you know, shot films for me of all time. You know, some of Spielberg's very very best cinematography, um, only really topped by E.T. and um, you know maybe maybe Raiders and stuff um, for me. But but this is very very close um, in terms of that. You know, I think it's just cinematic perfection. Uh, the editing, um, you know, this is of course if you've seen Lawrence of Arabia as well. There's many, uh, you know, kind of. Um, Tributes and, and you know some uh, kind of cuts and everything um, are very very similar you know involving the matches of course um, as well and, and just yes yeah, so I think uh, the way this film is edited is is just one of the very very best as well um, just for not for a single moment uh, does this falter in the direction um, you know this is a fully um, uh, realized piece of cinema um, that is directed to perfection um, this is something that is extraordinary uh, in its direction um, you know of course well done to Spielberg and you know finally winning his best director Oscar um you know which was you know long overdue um you know it's unbelievable actually um it's a shame as well he did feel you know excluded um not that I you know I value the the academy um you know to the highest of esteem but but yes you know it's it's it's, it's nice of course that he got you know finally uh, recognized you know it's it's quite shocking that he didn't before this but but yes you know this is something that you know, it's just um, it means so much to so many people, and um, you know, it's just it's a film. You know, as well, it's in the top ten, lovely B, I believe, uh, still, and just you know, most people, um, you know, would call this a great film, and um, you know, I think it's one of the um, easily one of my favourite uh, fifty films of all time, and uh, it's just from start to finish, you know, it's the first act, as I say, it's the perfect way to introduce the characters um, in every sense. You've got a lot of charm as well, you know, to, to, um, in the, the kind of community, you know, um, of, of the Jewish uh, individuals. And it kind of shows, you know, the actual warmth of these, um, you know, these characters and individuals. And then, you know, you've got you've quite a lot of humour as, as well in there. Um, it's kind of made the film more grounded and, uh, you know, realistic, authentic, um, you know. And then, of course, when uh, really the turning point, uh, you know, it takes it takes about 40 minutes really for, for to actually get shot. But then when Amon Goff, um comes into the picture um this film changes you know this is when it becomes truly uh shinner's list you know as, as we know it um this is something that this character um you know the portrayal of course um you know is something that is so disturbing you know a character that you know is, is, is just, it's, wow you know this is something that is truly shocking um in, in the nature of the character someone who is very you know he is definitely complex and um you know someone who you can't figure out either just like, you know, uh, you know, of course, Oscar Schindler at times early on, but in very, very opposite ways, um, because you can't quite, you can't quite understand how he's so, you know, evil at times, you know, how he's shooting, you know, a lot of these, these innocents, you know, it's so, because um, this, of course, you know, when this actually happened as well, it's so shocking, you know, and uh, when I first saw this, and, you know, the, the, the times where it's treated so, so suddenly, you know, the deaths, um, you know, of, of so many people in this way, just shoots them, uh, snipes them, or, or shoot some of a pistol and you know wow you know this is uh, very very graphic of course and um, it's just uh, it's so shocking one of the most shocking uh, characters in film and um, you know of course yes just uh, Ray Fiennes gives one of the finest performances of all time and um, you know it's something that wow you know it's just something to behold and uh, it's, it's so disturbing um, Liam Neeson is just um, someone who 
who brings so much emotion to his role and uh, of course Ben Kinsley, the gentility, the sincerity and, and the warmth of his character. The combination of this um, you know, makes for one of the greatest uh, kind of uh, mix of characters in cinema and um, you know, it, be it becomes of course a film in the second act which just shows all this you know, the horrifics, um, you know, definitely at the heights of this, you know, and the rest of the film. After that, it's kind of more the redemption, uh, you know, more of the hope coming through. The light, you know, at the end of the tunnel, you could say, in, in, in some regards. Um, I think sometimes to really see the light, you know, in cinema and for it to be really, truly meaningful, um, you have to go to the darkest of corners because um, the ending to this and the final act, it is one of the most, um, you know, kind of uh, overwhelming uh, experiences emotionally. Partly because, um, you know, we've gone so dark, um, you know, in this and the way it kind of conveys this, the, you know, this event, these events and, uh, you know, and just the overall tone of the film, uh, the graphic nature. And of course, you know, the fact that this, um, this is very, very close um, to what happened, of course, it means more, you know, it's something that, you know, you're, you're they're finally, um, so many of these, these Jews are finally out of this and they finally survive and, um, you know, so many close calls in the film and, uh, you know, course the journey they go through um horrific journey and uh, what they're subjected to which um you know i just i will never understand you know it's something that's truly um despicable and uh, it's one of the most tragic of course to, uh, you know instances in, in, in you know of all time um of humanity and yes you know it's something that i cannot believe you know it's it's it's, it's, it's well executed um it's something that you know fully commits you know in every sense the direction as i've said the cinematography the editing the John Williams score, um, you know, in itself just brings me to tears. It's staggering, um, you know, how John Williams, uh, you know, actually reached this level really with the score. Um, you know, it's something that it's, it's so perfectly kind of meshed to, to the experiences in the film, uh, the emotion to this and all the feelings. Um, but it's something else, you know, it's one of the very, very best scores in cinema, um, one of his best works. And uh, the collaboration here, once again, perfect, um, you know, it just makes for a complete experience and um, as I say you know in the end you know and uh, throughout the film one of the most you know kind of uh, certainly 20 most emotional films for me of all time um, in, in this particular way you know it's, it's something that uh, you know it's treated with such dignity sincerity and uh, the true heart to the film you know and uh, the way it values lives um, you know it's something that the Spielberg does in his films and uh, he was just the perfect for me director to, to make this film um, I wouldn't have had it any other way, you know, this is the perfect way to show this, I feel, um, in, in this instance, and, um, you know, it's something that, you know, so many people deserve the praise for this, and, um, you know, I think it's a wonderful gift, actually, you know, I think it's a wonderful creation, and I do think, you know, um, something wonderful can, can come um, from something so horrible, so dark, so tragic, um, you know, inhumane, um, but I think it's, 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 it's showing this, you know, in all this kind of, um, you know, it's, it's not holding back in many, many ways, at least as far as, you know, you can in cinema, um, you kind of thing. But it, it's something that, that as well is celebrating and um, paying tribute, but but celebrating um, and, and focusing as well, you know, on, on, on the kind of, those that survived and, um, you know, the way that they went through so much, um, but at the end of the tunnel, they did survive, they had families. And um, of course, when you see the actual, the actual individuals, the real life individuals at the end um, with the actual, the actors, actresses, um, that's something that's so genius to do, it's so um, sincere and, and kind of, um, you know, it's so perfect to kind of do that at the end um, and just, once again, just crying at the end of that, it's just it's just really so emotional, um, you know, and then of course you see Liam Neeson at the end as well, just standing there. Wow, you know, this is just um, cinematic perfection, um, it's something that has rarely been topped, um, you know, it's one of the very, very best films for me of all time and um, absolutely um, you know one of my top 50 favorite films you know of all time and one of the things of course you know that always you know always strikes me and, and makes me remember that you know in this film when I watch it of course um, it's, it's kind of it's how you know this kind of uh, it's the sense of community and um, you know kind of how you know a lot of these um, you know the workforce um, you know with with Schindler himself you know kind of um, you know like family and uh, he's kind of he's like the father figure of course um, because as I say, there's many, many close calls in the film where a lot of these these individuals, you know, these characters almost die and, um, you know, he's there, he's responsible for them and, um, you know, it really becomes clear in the final, you know, third of the film, um, his, his, you know, his friendship especially, you know, with, of course, Ben Kinsey's character, Vijay Stern, and, um, you know, Ben Kinsey in this film is just, you know, he's, he's infernal, uh, you know, kind of um, performance, it's so spiritual, this performance, and so 
heartfelt, you know, um, you just, it really moves me so much. And uh, these two characters together, you know, it's something that, this is the true heart of the film, you know, in, in that sense, how it represents this and um, the way he's, he looks after the, you know, a lot of these, these individuals and, um, you know, it's just this desperation as well with the villain, the main villain of the film really, um, you know, being Amon Goth and, um, you know, it's the way, of course, that you're constantly kind of um, hoping that nothing happens to, to these individuals um, and you've got this, this character, you know, many times kind of um, shooting, you know, all these individuals just for, for no reason, you know, it's just this purely evil um, act and then, of course, uh, Liam Neeson, his his uh, desperation, um, you know, his character of Schindler um, to, to protect these um, these characters, individuals, and it's just it makes for one of the most you know kind of um, just uh, you know involving experiences you know because of this and um, the way you know you feel that this this uh, this warmth and uh, this level of humanity you know this is the, I, I I love to watch this film because I like to feel human and uh, you know in cinema um, rarely is a film felt this human and uh, you know valuing uh, lives um, you know of individuals. Of humans you know so much and Spielberg always has a heart to his films really and uh, you know this is no exception um, you know he portrays this so wonderfully I feel and um, you know you've got the kind of of course the instances of colour in the film in particular of course the, the girl in the red coat and um, that is something that is truly powerful one of the best uses of colour in film even though it's mainly in black and white and um, there's something that I truly um, you know think it is it's just genius to do and uh, very, very simple um, but just just stunning um, really and, and so emotional the liquidation of the Krakow ghetto you know is one of the most haunting moments um, in cinema uh, it's one of the darkest chapters in cinema and you know that's really the, one of the turning points of the film uh, you know Schindler's character although in him you know there must have been good he's, enig he's an enigma of course um, you know in cinema um, this character we don't quite know you know exactly where and, and how you know parts of him changed uh, or kind of as well, what was hidden in within him, the humanity, but of course, one of the turning points that we are aware of, of course, um, is this kind of, um, you know, liquidation, of course, and, you know, many of these individuals are shot, um, the Jews, and it's just, it's, it's truly haunting, you know, Spielberg portrays, you know, the level, the atmosphere, you know, everything um, to portray this, and, you know, just the level, how, how haunting this is, and the level of kind of um, evil uh, permeating throughout the film, but then you've got this, this hope in there as well, and, uh, you know, kind of, the uplifting nature of many moments in the final act, uh, the redemption tale to it, and uh, the kind of the saving of these lives, you know, they're so precious. And um, you know, when it, when it comes at the end, that moment, these many moments towards the end, when, when you see the Jews um, who made it out, you know, that's something that it's truly, you know, something. Uh, yes, there's something to celebrate, you know. I feel um, something to hold on to, you know, and something that, you know, it, it's um, yeah, they, they live on, of course, generations, as they say in the film, and um, that's something that. It's just one of the most powerful things you know I've ever experienced. This is a film that I feel, you know, it's something that I, I truly am in tune with throughout spiritually, and um, it's one of the finest films ever made. And um, you know, I think no doubt, you know, one of Spielberg's very, very best films. Uh, not quite his best for me personally, uh, but yes, easily. Um, you know, it's always had, you know, pretty much my my highest rating, uh, which is 100% plus tier S. Um, no quarrels with that. You know, this is. One of my, my very favourite films um, is something that I, I kind of, uh, once again, I always remember how how kind of, um, you know, invested I am, you know, in, in this narrative and um, these these characters, how they're presented, how they're kind of, there is so much value um, emphasised, you know, on, on their lives and um, the way, of course, so many of these characters, you know, not, you know, kind of, because there's so many of them, of course, and it's kind of done at times like a documentary, you know, they kind of come in and out of the story, you know, you could say, um, and it's kind of like, you're looking out, at least I always look out for certain characters and see how, how they made it through and stuff. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's stuff sometimes you forget exactly because there's so many uh, different characters and names. And uh, it's something, yes, once again, it's just, it's so involving, it's so compelling, um, it's so, so wonderful um, in, in what it kind of, um, how, how human this film is, uh, portraying, as I say, one of the darkest um, events, you know, of all time, um, but doing it in such a way such a kind of uh, sincerity and a way, you know, kind of Spielberg does end it on, on a note, um, you know, that is very, very complex. Uh, on one hand, you've got the tragedy, you know, the loss of all these lives and, uh, you know, something that, you know, you can never really describe this, this uh, you know, event, you know, you know, six million plus kind of uh, Jews uh, killed. And it's just something that, as I say, you know, it's very, very hard to believe, um, but it's something as well, this film, while portraying the tragedy, 
you know, and, and how, you know, humans can be, you know, evil, um, definitely. It does also celebrate, as I say, and kind of uh, focus on um, as well, those that made it out, you know, it's a tribute to them and, and all the ones lost um, at the same time. And it's a wonderful creation, in my opinion, uh, a wonderful gift, a tribute, uh, and also a wonderful way um, to raise awareness, of course. Um, you know, as I say, it's wonderful reading this, but, you know, and hearing about this, actually seeing this play out, you know, in a film like this, you know, an epic and length film, and, uh, you know, a, a film that, you know, explores so many different uh, themes, you know, related to this, um, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, cannot be described, really. Um, as I say, it left me speechless once again, um, you know, it's a film that, moves me beyond most, um, you know, and it's, yeah, very, very emotional, um, such an emotional film, and, um, you know, I think it's just one of the finest, personally, I do agree, um, this is one of the very uh, best films ever made, and uh, not much more to say, you know, it's a film that you have to experience, um, you know, of course, if you're skipping to the end, and you haven't seen the film, um, you have to see it, you know, especially if you're at least 12 years old, as I say, and, uh, you know, just, just the way that you, yes, it's the, kind of the perfect age, really, to, to watch this film, and, um, you know, you fully, fully understand, you know, certain events and everything, and, um, you know, of course, it's just, it's just perfect for me, the cinematography, the editing, the direction, um, the way that it kind of is so sincere in the way it kind of um, presents these individuals and uh, the narrative as well, cinematically, uh, the acting is off the charts, uh, the use of music and the music itself uh, is overwhelming, uh, with emotion, and uh, yes, just um, every act gets better and better, no doubt, you know, at the moments that, that are just some of the very pinnacles of cinema, the making of the list, um, you know, the list is, you know, is life, um, you know, that is one of the most um, stunning moments I've ever seen. Ben Kinsley is absolutely wonderful in this film, that's all you can say, wonderful, um, it truly is, um, just completely a, a beautiful performance, I would say, it really is, and uh, Liam Neeson just uh, giving one of the best performances, and Ray Fiennes, you know, that, that, that character who is, uh, you know, is despicable and uh, just something that's very hard to understand, you know, it, just uh, why he done this, you know, it's for the, the complexities of humanity and, uh, of course, the ending, you know, just uh, the, the whole last third, but the ending act, um, especially, you know, is something that, uh, it's just overwhelming, uh, one of the, the pinnacles of cinema for me. And as well, you know, that moment, that sequence, um, I could have done more, um, wow, wow, you know, this is, um, you know, what you kind of see, you could, uh, you could show to, to really represent uh, some of the best acting and uh, best ways to portray, you know, humanity in, in cinema. Um, this is something that always break, uh, breaks me down, you know, kind of feeling. And as Liam Neeson, of course, uh, just comes to the ground and uh, is kind of consoled um, by Ben P Ben Kinsley. Um, you know, his character is Jack Stern, and um, you know the many other survivors. Um, this is something that is truly, truly moving, and uh, just the way that in the end, you know, after all this. This massive, massive journey, this gradual um, kind of realization, and uh, you know, you know, kind of um, this tale of redemption as well. You know, the way that, that Liam Neeson's character, uh, of Oscar Schindler, um, one of the great characters, of course, in cinema, the way he, you know, in the end, all he cares about, uh, you know, is, is, is you know the survival of these Jews. You know, that's something that is just um, it's truly, truly wonderful to see, and um, the way that this character changes. Over the film, you know, and, and, and the editing really plays a hand in that and the way that, um, you know, kind of, you see the lavish kind of lifestyle, you know, that he leads at the beginning and uh, kind of how, how kind of, um, you know, his flaws and everything there and, um, you know, the turnaround, you know, as I say, it's just truly wonderful and um, the way, of course, in the end that he just, all he cares about, as I say, is the, you know, is the survival of these characters. Um, it's truly a human tale and uh, one that just, always moves me um, so, so much, and uh, as I say, that moment um, is just one of the very, very best moments um, in cinema. And in my opinion, um, personally, a wonderful film and uh, a magnum opus, no doubt. Um, so yes, thanks for watching, and uh, more Spielberg coming, um, but yes, I will say it's one of my very, very favourite films. Um, it will always be my top 50, it will be appearing on my list, of course, um, very, very high. And yes, yeah, just one of his very, very best films, um, one of the true, true magnum opuses, one of the purest um, and uh, most honest um, and powerful films in cinema, uh, in my opinion. Uh, tell me your thoughts in the comments, and uh, yeah, it's just overall how you compare it to a lot of his films. Um, so yes, thanks for watching my review.